What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Last Days of War cast. We are Southern California based band, The Last Days of War. I am Mark. I am Mike. I'm Danny. The Feats and Beats. And welcome to the shit show, gentlemen. First on the agenda, shots. shots. There we go. What do we shoot, gentlemen? Fucking a little bit of Jack. Smooth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Woo! You guys. What are we starting off with? Your beard count. My beard count, bro. What is? What's the hairs? Surprisingly, it's about the same as last week. Dude. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I feel like you're more um, handsome. Like you're in the axe body spray phase of your facial growth. Oh wow! Damn. No, sorry, no. I meant that. Like, first of all, but how many hairs are we at? What are we at? I, we're in the hundreds, bro. Nice. nice. Multiple hundreds. Multiple hundreds, bro. Multiple hundreds. Almost to the thousands, dude. There we go. We're almost Danny? there. Is Danny oh, okay over here? Well, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. You all right? Oh, yeah. All right. Axe body spray, bro. No, yeah. It's just, it's just the... Kilo know. was my favorite. I no longer wear it. Why? <laughs> why not? Or why did I ever wear it? Well, well I yeah, humor me. It was the times, bro. It was like you got that axe on you. You got that. Axe. You got who? Who asked you this? <laughs> you had people asking you for axe. At least seven people, bro. <laughs> like, can... You hung out with some dirty motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> if you, I, that was the weirdest thing to me. Like, hey, people are gonna come up to you and ask you for a fucking deal. Hey, you got some deodorant. Go fuck yourself. Like, what? Why would I have deodorant? I came prepared. Like, no, I don't carry it on me. <laughs> Who carries that deodorant? That was close. Hell yeah, dude. Did you almost lose it? Yes, it was spit. Sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Hell yeah, man. Bro, Eminem, bro. Go. Eminem. So Eminem is doing a Big Bang event on oh, Fortnite. And Taco Bell. Oh, no, not Taco Bell. That was last that week. That was last week. <laughs> Oh, no. Uh, Is that what we're calling it? The Big Bang of it? Big Bang of Taco Bell? The big Taco Bell Big Bang. It's like, bang. So this event that's happening, correct me if I'm wrong, Travis Scott did the first one? Uh, Yeah, he did the big one. Travis okay. Scott was a big one that Fortnite worked with him and did the whole animation, built his character. and It was a cool... Uh, show i guess if you want to call it that 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 happened for it my son actually just ironically showed this to me like a couple of days ago on youtube I, so now they, they they'll do it with other artists and what other artists do is they put them in a little lobby and show their music video in the lobby like it's like at a drive-in <laughs> yeah you still with me i'm good I'm okay with you, dude. at the drive-in okay I love that, man. go no <laughs> no, I wish it was at the drive-in, but no, they do other artists. And if you watch this artist, you get points for watching them doing the little collection or whatever during the events. Because sometimes they'll make you do like, hey, collect these music notes. And you collect them, you get points and you level up. Skins. The skins dropping with Eminem? Fuck yeah. What he's got mean? he's got three new skins coming out for Fortnite. And it's just like, save up your V-Bucks. And it's just like three different versions of him, like from Stan. It's got to be like Slim Shady. Slim Shady, and, and then just yeah, Marshall Man Mathers. Yeah, they got to have like, it's different, right? We'll see. We'll see when it drops. Now, I'm not, we've talked about this before, I'm not a big Fortnite guy. I know, you're you not. You guys, all three, no? Never you played did. it once you, in my, my life. My kids are. Okay, so yeah. you're the big Fortnite guy here. Are you excited about this? <clears throat> yes. Like Dolly uh, Parton excited? Mm. Go ahead. You think you're excited? Feel these nipples. <laughs> Shit. No. Um, it. I think it's cool that someone that mainstream, I know they've had John Cena, they've had LeBron James, they've had other... Bro, they've had Keanu Reeves, bro. Why did you not drop him? John Wick. No, that's what got me hooked. Really? Yeah. No, that was the first one I bought. And I'm like, well, I dropped 20 bucks in this game. I'm going to play this one over PUBG. And then I could play this with my grandson because there's no fucking blood, right? And you're just like, 
God damn it. All the cool fucking skins just overpowered it. And then you look at back at PUBG and they're like, we teamed up with Godzilla. And you're like, well, that's cool, but you don't have the skins. Yeah. What skins are you going to give Godzilla, dude? Yeah, right. You know, I feel that. That's dope. Um, I don't get Fortnite, bro. Sorry. I know. I've tried, man. I turned the game on. I loaded it up. That's Just the fucking story. menu annoyed the shit out of me. And I was like, I'm done with this game. <laughs> I turned it <laughs> off. I was like, was I'm good. not doing it. I didn't even play a fucking round, dude. See, like, that's how dedicated he is to video games. <laughs> no, dude. I am very dedicated to video games. I just finished playing Spider-Man 2. Just not Spider-Man that one. Too. Like that segue? What? You're welcome. You played what? So I just finished playing Spider-Man 2 on the PS5. When did that come out? Uh, it came out last month, a couple weeks ago. When did Fortnite come out? Uh, 1930. Oh, oh, <laughs> 30. <laughs> uh, 2000, I'm going to guess, bro. 16? Uh, no. Uh, I'm going to guess 2003. No. No, you way give, after you wanna, that. Want to give us the answer? I want to say way after that. Okay, uh, let's go 2012. I want to say, yeah, like 2012 yeah. would be about right. If only we had a device that we could Google this on. Somebody <laughs> that we could rely <laughs> on to give us the answer. Um, Yeah, man. You, I, but, you said, but you said you only started playing it. Just when they dropped the John Wick skin. Yeah. Uh, they did have a knockoff skin before. Of John Wick? Of John Wick. 2017. You guys were wrong. What? It was 2017. 2017. Oh, 2017. Then it came all out. came out? Yeah. Fortnite yeah. came out. Right there. Yeah. I, said, I said 2016. I thought it was, but... Producer Jamie. Yeah. Help us out. Yeah, There's yeah. a lot of drugs involved between now and then. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, dude. What kind Anyways. Of, what kind of drugs, bro? Yeah. The good ones? <laughs> the good ones? Um, all of them. But... There was a knockoff John Wick skin, and they got the. Was it Ron Wick or what? What was the name? Uh, I forget. Ron <laughs> Wick. Wick. No, but it's like he kind of looks like Jesus in a in a tuxedo. I mean, that's Keanu Reeves if you're going to describe somebody. <laughs> but you know no, I mean? <laughs> but like the way this dude looks, he looks more like Jesus. He's a little bit more emaciated and just. You're like oh, okay, but then you're like, oh, that's Keanu Reeves. And you're how like, many how many hours a week are you uh, you doing Fortnite? How many hours a week are you playing with hours? yourself? Go. <laughs> Maybe fifteen. Okay. Maybe fifteen. A few hours a day. Three. Rook, rook, three. Rookie numbers, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Do you play video games or not, bro? What the fuck? <laughs> that's just that game. That's just <laughs> that game. I got my toilet games. Yeah. Okay. You gotta have toilet games. Yeah. Um, so really quick, Spider-Man 2. I just <laughs> passed the game and it was, no pun intended, it was amazing. It was it was phenomenal. I'm going to go into spoiler territory here with the story. So if you don't want to hear that, fast forward about two minutes. How do minutes. I do it? Anyways. Uh, yeah. So how do you do it? <laughs> Fuck you, Ralph. <laughs> so, well, I don't want a spoiler, <laughs> but I don't have a PlayStation. So... Did you, play the first, did you play the first one? No, I don't have a PlayStation. Did you, you, well, you only have an Xbox? Mm. Uh, I have both, bro. You know what I mean? Oh, must be nice. Must be nice. <laughs> I haven't touched the Xbox probably like a year and a half. Though. You shouldn't it's in front filthy. of your wife. <laughs> it's filthy, it's filthy dirty it's little filthy. Xbox, bro. Right? No. Yeah. So, it, uh, different Xbox. For those who don't know, Spider-Man is a Sony exclusive, which is why Rob hasn't played it. Mm. Um, so Venom and... Uh, Craven the Hunter were the main villains in this one, which I loved because there's the whole time Craven the Hunter is he's he's hunting other villains just for sport. He's like, I need something, I need a challenge. He goes and he like kills Scorpion and he kills, you know, the Rhino. And like he's got there just like doing all these other things. I Meanwhile, you did that in the first game. As know? Venom, the interesting twist of this story about uh Venom in this game is that it's not the usual person who's usually Venom. It's not Brock. It's uh, Harry Osborn. Harry Osborn ends up being Venom because in the first game, he had cancer. And at the end of that game, uh, also spoilers for the first game, uh, fucking <laughs> at the end of that game, uh, uh, at the end of that game, his dad, they show Harry like in a tank and his dad's like doing experiments to try to like save his son, right? But we find out that he found the symbiote and he ends up using that to heal Harry. 
And Harry finds out that he has this venom power during a fight at like a carnival where he's trying to, he sees Spider-Man, the Ferris was going to fall and he jumps up there. And as he grabs it, like the symbiote comes out with them and pushes it up. And it's a really great moment because he does that. And uh, Peter as Spider-Man, he looks at him and he's like, Harry. And then he's like, Peter, like he's like, they both realize who, like, you know, like he realized who he was then and there. Uh, it's just a great story, man. A uh, fantastic story. I won't go into how it ends. Sounds like you just spoiled the whole goddamn thing. No, man. No, I mean, if you literally, know the fucking story, you just literally fucking the second it. that, like, the second the game starts, you you know right then and there that Harry is Venom. Like, like it tells you right at the beginning of the story. It's not something you find out into it. But I highly recommend it. It's probably like one of my top five favorite PS5 games. Yeah. yeah, it was great. They added everything that was like kind of clunky in the first one, which wasn't much, much. They fixed in this one. And like along with web slinging, they gave them like web wings, like a flying squirrel. So you could like web sling and then launch yourself and then pop your wings out and like glide through the city, which is pretty dope. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. If you're a gamer, check out Spider-Man 2. So you find out it's hairy once you get into it. That like, like, yeah, as soon as, as yeah, as soon as you find like yeah, that, that's the way the story well, starts. But that's how the first one ends, yeah. and he just ruins that one for everyone right then. If there. you haven't played the first Spider-Man, bro, fuck. I you, don't man. have a Sony PlayStation. <laughs> you just fucking ruined the whole franchise for me, bro. Sorry, man. You're worse than Sam Raimi. <laughs> um, yeah, fucking video games. I like them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Hell yeah, man. Rob, we did a couple of episodes. Oh, you did. Yeah, you guys did a number. Holy uh, hell. Three you... ep- two episodes back now. Well, three, but we won't go into that episode where that dude showed up and you guys just let him on the set, no problem. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> you guys did two episodes without me. One, first of all, didn't we just get done? Sh- Sorry, this is Rob's rant. And if you're going to see this on YouTube, I apologize in advance. I hope they censor out a bunch of words. Didn't we just shit all over a bunch of, a bunch of ceremonies, like award ceremonies, like how they're just so pretentious and dick sucking and that's all they're doing. And like, oh, hey, stroking off each other. Mm-hmm. Like and then you're like, oh yeah, spirit box, good, congrats. <laughs> like, well, it's yeah, fun. I, I feel still, like it's, still, it's cool. cool when you actually see a band get recognized. It like by the people in their academy. Like it's the I same know. people that are voting for Metallica. Shut up, they don't know metal. Like somebody's I did, I did. obviously not. Do- I, did, I didn't I did. even pull a card. No, listen, <laughs> you you guys. You can't shit all over award ceremonies and then be like, oh, yeah, congrats that they won a Grammy. First of all, uh, I want to correct this, and I know you didn't mean this. We talked about this already, but the AVN Awards are not the VMA Awards. Let's correct this right now. Those are two different things. Yes, we talked about this, Josh, that they now have live performances like the VMAs do. And they had Nicki Minaj perform at the V uh, the AVN Awards. How was it? <laughs> Keep going. It, it was worth the rental of the video. Anyways, you rented a, the VNA Awards. You don't. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, go. <laughs> Guess stay up to date on your topics. Would you go to fucking cast. Blockbuster, bro? What the fuck? <laughs> no, you can rent it all from home. Rent it all from home. Anyways, you, you can do that on an Xbox. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, though. <laughs> you do it on PlayStation, too. Um, no, there's so many things. Taylor Swift, you guys can't name one fucking Taylor Swift song. I can't. Just shake it off. Shake it off. Come bro. on, guys. I was just going to say. You I knew you guys were trouble when you walked in. <laughs> fucking Christ. You can feel my bad blood, right? These are all songs. Is that, is that another Shit, song by her? God, he, he named you like guys, like, you guys are so disappointed. Like, you've been blasted with the shit. You're just like, uh, some pop singer. And, yeah, granted, there are some of those, and you're just like, oh, I don't care if it's Friday, you know? But you just, you keep going. Like, 
<laughs> every day, every day is a fucking Monday. You know, <laughs> there's always shit to do. Um, How much Taylor Swift do you listen to, bro? I worked in the bar, so if it's in the top forty and it gets people to dance, that, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, and you just sense. like okay, Macklemore, Taylor Swift, Usher, and you just like you know you hear these fucking songs all the time. And then you guys come on here and like, I can't name one Taylor Swift song. No, I don't, I don't know why do these people like her. I got I a lot of I got a lot of shit for that. Because you should. <clears throat> you all should. You couldn't name well, one I'm, fucking Taylor Swift song. Let me tell you and why. Then you all named other pop female artists that sound similar to her yeah, or rip her off, and you're just like, yeah, okay. It's artists crazy. that re-record their fucking shit. Swifty over here, dude. Okay, wait, 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 hang on. Artists that shouldn't re-record their shit because of what Taylor Swift did. I think it's more what's going on with Van Halen that has anything to do with anything about Wolfgang Van Halen recording all the bass parts that Michael Anthony did just so he won't get royalties anymore. Are those guys yeah. all in Van Halen? I don't know, bro. We'll be back next week. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, we still got half an episode, half of a quarter of a, god damn it. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back. Um, I'm Rob. I'm Mark. Danny. I'm Josh. And there was a naked dude at Disneyland, dude. What the fuck, man? Let's okay. talk. Let's talk. Let's talk some fucking. It's a small world. Did you see the naked video? Dudes. Was it a small world though? Was it a small? The world? headline was. Man at Disneyland decides to show how small a world it is. That's what it's. That's what but did you see the video? <laughs> I didn't. He's in his chonies the whole time. No, he takes them no, off eventually. He, there was a part where he yeah, was outside he, in like the outside of the ride, and the chonies. Was, I was just, I was trying to be respectful of the video part. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, this is where it's going. Okay, no need to watch. No need to keep going. Like, he's already done wrong at this point. And his friend, he's got no one. He should have better friends that keep him in check. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get going to an amusement park. On Did he go substance. by himself? That's what I want to know. Like, no. nobody told him, hey, bro, don't get naked. You know? I don't know, it was man. A dare. What? Was it a dare? <laughs> was he, he was on drugs, right? At least six. They said his friends looked at him and they he couldn't even recognize him. Like, it looked like he was going to pounce on them. Oh, it was definitely acid or some shit then. Yeah, yeah. so it it's just like. Shit. He went on Small World and just... Bro, imagine being on acid and it's a Small mm, World, dude. Not a good idea. What other ride there would you want to be on acid for? Winnie the Pooh's the, acid trip? The uh, fucking the Roger Rabbit ride? You know the little Winnie the Pooh ride? Where he eats the honey and he goes on a fucking acid trip? It's Winnie the Pooh's acid trip. It's, it's been a minute. That is a crazy ass ride, dude. So he, it so is, Winnie the yeah. Pooh eats like bad honey, and he literally goes he on like yeah, a trip. It's a, it's from him. eating bad honey, and then you come out, and it's like, hey, we're cool. Dude. I don't know how I never saw that ride that way, but you were hundred percent right. Yeah, <laughs> you're you're hundred you're you're percent right. I'm sorry, but that's what it is. Yeah. What yeah. about Indiana Jones? I'd be like shitting myself. No. I feel like every time I go on that ride, I need a chiropractor, dude. It's a rough ride. It's dude. like just. God. Yeah. Uh, really? Oh yeah. Yeah. You never drove a Jeep. Do you have a no. favorite Disney ride? Yeah. Yeah. Are you, can you get on them? Pirates of the Caribbean. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, this is a legit question because you're so tall. Uh, like, do you get refused on rides sometimes? Not that one. Not that one. It's a small world. <laughs> it's been a minute. <laughs> <laughs> he gets his own boat. You got a favorite Disney ride? All of them. Really? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Josh, we we can we can include California Adventure, because for me it's the fucking Guardians of the Galaxy ride. That shit's dope. I haven't been on that because um, no, no, no. my kids are little. Um, probably Big Thunder Mountain. That's a good one. Because yeah. my daughter loves that fucking ride. Like we had an experience where we took them and we didn't know how she would take it because she had never been on a roller coaster. Screamed her head off laughing the whole entire time. The kid behind us bawling tears could not <laughs> stop crying the mom's trying to console her the dad's on the other cart behind him laughing hysterically filming it like oh my god why is she making such a big deal you come up to the drop and she's no 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 <laughs> screaming and yelling and my daughter's laughing hysterically at it that's awesome 
You look like you wanted to say something about Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, so I would I would say like this to you. My favorite ride was Tower of Terror. Tower of Terror. Yeah, you know what? They took a shit on it. Never got on it. It's way better. Than yeah. Took yeah. shit on that ride. <laughs> he took a shit on Tower of Terror. No, no, no. no. Have you <laughs> so seen just, it? Have you seen wait, it? Wait, wait. Did no, you oh, you're saying that the Guardians they is trash? They took a shit on oh. Tower of Terror. Oh. Like, yeah. like, have you seen the building? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, what it I looks like. Yeah, so, so basically, it's Tower of Terror, and they just went like, fucking, yeah. They just, <laughs> and like, fucking they just, busted, they just busted a Marvel net all over They just put like, let's sprinkle some of this, and we could throw some of that shit around. Yeah. And that's to me, that's what it looks like. Yeah. I, don't, I, I, I wouldn't know anything about it, but that's when what it looks like. When they should have made like their own little Star Tours. Star Tours is a dope ride. Yeah, but if they would have done it with Rocket and Groot. The Buzz Lightyear ride is trash, but the Toy Story I ride think, is fucking I think at phenomenal. this point now, you got to move Star Tours over to the appropriate place. Buzz now. Lightyear ride. There, there's a Buzz Lightyear ride in Disneyland. Make it all the Not the gun one, right? Yeah, the gun one. And But I prefer the Toy Story ride in California. Oh, Disney. we haven't been on the Toy that Story ride. That was fucking awesome, yeah. You shoot the little thing? Uh, awesome. You haven't been on that? Which one? The Toy Story one? Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. Huh. Toy Story. I, I haven't I was been saying on, I prefer oh, haven't I haven't been on it. Yeah. I haven't even been on that in credit coaster. My kids are too little. I don't know what that is. It's the one, the one coaster, coaster they have that, that goes upside down. Yeah. At Disneyland? Yeah. At California Adventure. Oh. It's at California. Adventure. No. Yeah. yeah. So. They don't have too much that goes upside down at Disneyland. That was like the big attraction for Do they have Island. anything? Just the one. Just the one. And what? it's just one loop. What? Yeah. Then credit coaster? I think it's just the incredible. No, nothing. Oh, no, at Disneyland? Disneyland? At Disneyland, no. Yeah, no, I don't think no. so. And not that I can think of. You can go that's underwater. That's go as far America as you get. Yeah. You know what, guys? It's time for some fucking hot takes, hot takes, hot takes. Oh, you got Let's it. Fucking I got go. one. People should get a ticket for leaving a shopping cart in the parking lot. Isn't there a guy hey. who does like a videos yes. of that? He's awesome, dude. Yes. Shopping cart like police. I don't know what his, the name is. But I, he'll just like yes. put it behind their cars and then people want to fight him well, for it. He, hey, throws, my he throws magnets and stickers and yeah. people get so mad at him. Yeah, dude. Yeah. That's good. Um, Yeah, I agree, man. It bugs the shit out of me. People yeah, don't take their basket back. back. Yeah, you know. Just be a bitch. What you, Rob? Is that bother you? What do you think, I, Rob? I don't know. Sometimes I'll take the cart that's in the middle of the parking lot. Sometimes I'll grab it and bring it. Yeah. See what I'm saying? The like, see? Oh. That's no, my like, cart. I'm going to park right here, and that's the closest one to me out here. I feel I'll like take I do my part. I feel <laughs> like I do my part, take. and, you know. Now, yeah. when you leave, do you leave it in the same spot? No, I put no, it away. no, you no. no. I, I don't even take it out the door. I'll push it back in the cart return and take my bags with me. Yeah. Now, Good if I'm with my wife, I will take the cart because I can't that's carry that many fucking shit. bags that fucking far and have my fingers still have feelings. You just got to grab drive. them all two hands and... I mean, that's what that, butt then you do. take it to the cart return, right? That's what you do. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be but a dick. Don't leave it there. Don't leave it there. Piece of or shit. Danny will fight you. That's right. Fuck. <laughs> I got I'll one right it. here for you. I'll take, I'll take, I'll take. I wouldn't mind living my life backwards like Benjamin Button style. Fuck that. So. Fuck that. Why did I start out at 45? That sucks. Right? No, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Like, so did they, did they, oh, I look good looking. What the fuck? I'm drooling all over myself, shit myself. It's now, best I'm ever gonna look. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I mean, life's pretty cool the way it is now. How do your so, teeth I, mean, I don't work? know about going backwards. Do your adult teeth fall out for your baby teeth? <laughs> it's a big question. Do you go backwards with the teeth? <laughs> like I'm losing my adult teeth now. I'm starting to lose my adult teeth. Oh no, I'm getting into my baby ears. My baby teeth are coming in. <laughs> I just keep getting younger. This fucking sucks. This is bullshit. And then you just start shitting yourself. So fuck. You, you start out life with like back pain and all this crazy shit. starting to forget I have a dick. <laughs> Boy, Wait, I have a dick? See what I was... Oh, there's... A t- yeah, yeah. Well, if you were a woman, you'd watch your boobs disappear before your eyes. <laughs> oh, oh. Us too. <laughs> I get work to work on that. Yeah, man. I mean, my titties would disappear if I went younger, you know what I mean? <laughs> what do you got? What do you got? What do you got, Rob? <laughs> this is New York style pizza is better than Chicago style pizza. Bullshit. I will fucking fight you every day on this one. Is the Chicago one the one with the sauce on the top? Where it's fucking thick. It's fucking, it's a pie. It's a fucking. New York style, get bro. Get the fuck out of here. 
It's too much cheese, dude. So if I eat, if I eat a York? pie like that, dude, no. of just fucking cheese, bro. New York. I'm Chicago. I'm not shitting for a week, you know. Um, I, I think both of them are really good, uh, but I'm, I think, I'm going to go New York. New I, York. Yeah. I think thing like you just don't get full. It's like fuck this. What is this? This is like cheese flavored cardboard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, is it so? I don't even know if you know what you're doing right now. No, I do because for me, I have to fold them in half, and I'm eating three slices just to fucking eat. And I'm like, I feel full. This you know is going to be saying? like the Tootsie Roll situation all yeah, over. Yeah, uh, I get it. That's why I eat <laughs> Chicago style. Like I, we'll get the barstool. Here, I'll here. piss off a bunch of people. I don't like soup. Fuck soup. Hey, Rob, soup is, is no is, is cereal soup. No, cereal is cereal. Soup is meant to be this fucking dish you're supposed to eat before your meal. Not a fucking meal. It's not a meal. Soup is not a fucking meal. Let's fill you in right now. This is how I feel. Fuck this shit. You consider shit. ramen a soup? Yeah, but you eat it as like a fucking snack, right? Before a meal. I'll eat it. I'll eat ramen as a meal, bro. Get the fuck out yeah, of here. Yeah, it's just bomb. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, but I'll do it too. The ramen. Josh? I'm like married what? to an Asian. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> on your own here. You're on your own, bro. Fuck, How's yeah. Food? Yeah, hot take. I don't take. fuck care. <laughs> <laughs> fuck soup. I stand by that. We'll do That's one more. We got meal. a few minutes to kill right here before we take a break here. Uh, Read it out loud. It's fair to... <laughs> I didn't understand the Go question ahead. at first. It's fair to ask a genie for infinite wishes. It is. I don't know, man. The genie Unless in Aladdin tells you straight otherwise. up that shit ain't that shit ain't happening. If he says it, yeah. If he says the there's a clause, then hey. Yeah. But if he says you've yeah. got three wishes, and you say, "Can one of those be infinite wishes?" You got three wishes. Go. Infinite, infinite wishes. wishes. <laughs> I hate you guys so much. Who was first? I think I said it at the same time. I think we finished the same time. Give me infinite wishes. I want to be first in line for infinite wishes. Okay, infinite wishes off the table. Go. Life infinite life would be a infinite life. Infinite lives. Yeah, I feel like Rob. Infinite wishes. Infinite life. I feel like if Rob had infinite lives, he would just fuck with people. Like he'd be like, "Watch this," and just jump in front of a train. He would. He totally would. Fuck yeah, just oh, would traffic's all the time. going so good today. <laughs> just, <laughs> <laughs> I would do it right in front of you just to fuck with you every day. Hey, Mark, how's your like day going? Hey, see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> see you at band practice. <laughs> Bro, it. He would do it every day. Car. So you have to have a, a, a spawn point. Where would you spawn at? You just wake up in your bed mom. every day. <laughs> <laughs> you just wake up. <laughs> <laughs> wake up at your mom's house. <laughs> Your mom is a spot point. <laughs> Every morning. Moms are spot points, dude. That makes sense. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rob's broken. Okay. Oh, fuck, dude. There's so, a, yeah. Oh, what else did you guys fucking Let, talk about? Let's, let's do one the more. The Beatles. Hot, we'll, the oh, Beatles. you want to do that? Because we got, we got two minutes before break. Holy shit. Yeah. You guys. Wait, wait, wait. You were shitting all over this new song. Okay. We're sitting over the video. Okay, you said the video was garbage and neither one of you guys watched it and didn't look interesting. You weren't going to check it out. Peter Jackson. Lord of the Rings, Peter Jackson. King Kong, Peter Jackson. Uh, but I didn't, I wasn't interested in the Beatles song because the video, I wanted to hear the Beatles. Yeah. yeah. It's just I, weird, dude. They like AI'd the other two. They're they're not AI. No, they didn't AI anybody. They, what they, they did was they, they used modern technology to solo out their parts. Yeah, I'm talking about the the video. They extracted the p the piano out of. Oh well, the video. Separate. I just let Mr. Peter Jackson, who's done all these amazing fucking movies, do his fucking thing. And if you're a band and you have hey, Peter Jackson, then he should have done it. Right. You he, know what I'm saying? He, he should have done it. Uh, he did it. Okay. Good. <laughs> I mean, did I? I mean, I mean you, could, you could go see the video. I'm, I'm, I'll check it out. It's a little creepy. Yeah, no, I'll get I, you. Like, that's what I hear. Yeah. Yeah. And to be fair, when you said that we talked about it and didn't watch the video and talk, it's true, bro. I didn't watch it. <laughs> 
I just saw the fucking TikTok clip. I was like, this is weird. I saw enough of it to where it weirded me out. We'll be right back. What's up, guys? Danny and Mark from The Last Days of War. What's going on? Just wanted to remind you guys that you guys can follow us on all our social media pages. It's we the, got the TikTok and the Instagram and the uh, Facebook and threads. Those are all The Last Days of War. And X is The Last Days of War because the is too long. Uh, check out our merch. That's a great way to support the band. It is in our bios on all of our social media pages. Anything else, Danny? Have a good one. Back to the show. And we're back. What up, Pete? Uh, what's first on the agenda? Sh- 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 Cheers, right. my dudes. I poured them a little heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. So, uh, last episode, last week, we started talking a little bit about music reviews and then kind of went off topic and didn't do them. So, we're going to do them now. Fuck, yeah, you took that it shot happens. like a champ. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I've been drinking. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I've been drinking. <clears throat> Danny, kick it off. So uh, let's see. Uh, North Lane, uh, new, new single, uh, Dante. Did you guys get a chance to take, take a listen? I yeah, did. because you played it for us. <laughs> <laughs> you played all three songs for <laughs> us. You made us do our I homework. Did, I did. I did. Yeah, that. We did, did we homework, pay guys. attention? We did. Here's how I we go. I remember that now. Okay. You can start, Rob. Go. We remember the conversation we had before this started? Yes. Yeah. Um, I really feel like Mark is going to steal my answers, so I would like for Mark to go first. Okay. So, how do you feel about North Lane? Uh, I felt like it reminded me, like I, it gave me the feeling of like, if Chester was still alive and decided to do a side project, it would be this. That's what it reminded me of. Um it reminded me of that vocally, but it, he's just missing like that chest, Chester rasp. Like if he had a little bit more rasp in his voice, he would sound just like Chester to me. And then when he hits the high notes, he reminds me of Craig Owens. Uh, but I loved that song, to be honest. And that was the first song I'd heard from North Lane. And then you guys said that they're really good. Their other stuff's oh, really yeah. good. Yeah, so I'm going to be checking them out for and sure. Of course, you're talking about Chester of the Lone Rangers. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay. Chester yeah. Ogilvy. So was that your answer? <clears throat> what? What I said? Well, it was close. I didn't. I didn't hear Lincoln Park as much as I heard more of like a Chino esque type singer, like like Chevelle or something, you know. But a cooler version, you know. <laughs> okay. Danny, your thoughts? Um, <clears throat> for me, uh, I I I've listened to North Lane for quite a while. Um, Did we say the name of the song? It's called Dante. Dante. Uh, I like it. It's really good. Um, I feel like, I don't know. Um, I'm going to say it's probably not my favorite song I've heard by them, but uh, it's definitely good. That answer makes me excited to hear the rest That's, of the stuff. And, you and when, I mean? when yeah. I'm going to tell you right now, and, and this is not like a knock on the song at all, but what I'm, all I'm going to say is take a deeper dive into it and, and, you're you're gonna go. This is really good, but like, wow, over here, they, there's, yeah, they do a lot of things really well for sure. Yeah. Josh, sorry, um, I have to say, not knocking on them. I just think it's a little too produced. Like I like older North Lane. That Color Wave album was really mm-hmm. good, but I like the drummer Nick. I started following him before I even knew he was their drummer. So that's how I got into North Lane. And North Lane was actually one of the bands I picked to tour with, with one of our questions of who we could tour with. Oh, okay. It was North Lane and 12 Foot Ninja just because he'd be interesting to hang out with as a drummer. He has his own style, his kit set up all weird. Like it looks like his cymbals are falling over, but it works for him. So it's one of those like nobody else could play his kit but him. And their music live, they're really good. It just seems like if you start off with their older stuff to now, more and more production has gone into each album where they still pull it off live, but if you don't have the electronics they add to it, then it kind of seems empty. Okay. Mm. So right. if you're looking for more heavier, check out some of their older stuff. I definitely will, because I, like I said, I enjoyed what I heard. They have had two different singers, though. So if you like this guy's voice, you're going to like the newer stuff. The uh. first album, and I think maybe their first EP was the old singer, 
who was mainly just screaming. There wasn't really any singing, singing. Okay. Where they do have some songs with this guy where they have versions of a song, one regular, one acoustic, because the singer can actually play guitar too. And he sings in a completely different key, slows the song down. So they have depth. Hmm, that's cool. Hell yeah, man. Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe Jamie was saying that they have an acoustic album. Yes. Or you just have, you've seen them play acoustic stuff. He has uh, different tracks and stuff that he plays acoustic. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna I'm gonna take a deep dive. They have some that. pretty cool remix stuff too. Yeah. The yeah, the other song that I did hear is you played that remix song. I also enjoyed that as well. Yeah. Um, let's roll on to that next song, dude. What we got? Upon a burning body. Upon a burning body. Kill shot. Kill shot. I'll start with this one. It was good, but not for me. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, I appreciate the song. I appreciate what they do. It all sounds great. Awesome. Uh, you were saying they're from Texas? Yes. Texas bands have a certain sound that I that just doesn't, you know, resonate with me for some reason. Mm-hmm. The, a lot of Texas bands have a certain sound like that. And I don't know. Like I said, it awesome song. Sounded great. Produced well. They know what the fuck they're doing. I just wouldn't go listen to it on my own again. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? No, I dug it. I I felt like it was uh, right up there with like uh, "Bring Me the Horizon" type style of writing. You know, trying to bring in the uh, electronic component. You know, being our band, I kind of appreciate that for sure. Um, To an extent, like I don't want to replace a member. You know, like hey, if this is stepping all over your dick, just tell me. All right. <laughs> no dick stepping. Yeah. <laughs> you know hey, what I mean? Take a step back, man. Yeah. But you, Danny? It's pretty heavy. You know? Um, I liked it. I enjoy it. I thought um, I literally thought that was all you were gonna say. No, 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 no. <laughs> um I You're all. Yeah, I'm a I'm a big fan of melodic vocals. So when I hear a band that's really heavy and then I hear them pull off melodic vocals really well, I love it. Um, so I feel like it hits a lot of elements, but it, it, it kind of misses a couple for me to really make it something that I'm like really excited about. But uh, great song. I mean, they, uh, yeah. you know, they did enjoyed the, it. They did the damn thing. I would, I would <laughs> listen to it again. Yeah. For sure. Josh? It's right up my alley. But because of my other band, I'm diving deeper into the heavier music. For sure. <clears throat> but I liked it. Um, they haven't changed too much from older stuff to newer. It's just basically better equipment, better sound. But the style of music really hasn't changed. He's always kind of been that not really rap metal, but the style of lyrics, the way he mm-hmm. flows has always been that similar aggressive style. He's not really saying saying too much. The only thing that would be shitty is revolving member of band members. Like, he's the only original dude. Uh, mm. right. Everybody else has been changed. They've had almost new drummers for almost every tour. Um, it went from, like, having two guitar players, bass player, down to one guitar player and tracks. So they kind of figured out who needed to be there, who didn't need to be there. If we don't need you, we'll just run the track. Yeah. So seeing them live <clears throat> kind of be hit or miss. Mm. But they put on a good show, apparently. Like, they had... A show where um, I think it was Warp Tour that they were on that they all came out in fucking suits and they played in the fucking sun. I was gonna say at a Warp Tour, sh- yeah, dude. Wearing Fuck suits that. and shit too. <laughs> and like a song, he, bro. You know he had a, they had a video where they were all dressed nice Please and everything. Don't. Please don't. Yeah. yeah, dude. You guys go to many Warp Tours? I've never been to one. You've never? I've been to I one. I was Ozfest. Everything I've, was. I've been to a bunch. I fucking hated it, dude. I was like, I'm sure they're awesome to play as a musician. I would love to do that. I know they don't do it in California anymore, right? There's, there's, really. there's, I think they still do like two of them. One of them's in Texas and another one's in another, in another state. I can't remember. But the one that I went to was headlined by uh, fucking, why can't I think of their name? A Day to Remember. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, they were awesome. <clears throat> I did see a band there called Foxy Shazam. Yeah. Was, oh, dude, they're fucking awesome nuts. live, dude. Eating cigarettes and yeah. shit. <laughs> that dude, that was... And then just sings like he didn't even have a cigarette in his mouth. Yeah, it was great, dude. Because like you could tell the crowd that they had, like it was majority people who didn't know who they were. 
and they go into their first song and everyone's just like, what the well, fuck? this fucking rules. Like these guys are fucking awesome. Like the keyboardist is like standing on his fucking keyboard and getting all crazy and shit. I was like, dude, this is. Did he still uh, have the handlebar mustache? He did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah at that time he had the handlebar mustache. Got his own style too, but yeah. They have dope music voice. videos as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah, it's do. one of those bands. Either you like him, you respect what he does, or you're like, "What the fuck just is this? Yeah. Like, this is a waste of time." Yeah. No, it's yeah. interesting. Like, I've never seen somebody else do that. Let alone like he lights three or four cigarettes, <laughs> takes puffs, and then just turns them around and eats the yeah. fucking things, and then and then continues to perform, dude. Like nothing. Doesn't cough. Bleh, nothing. Just goes right into the song. Like okay, that can't taste good. Exactly. <laughs> you know? And they're still lit. He puts them out on his tongue and then just starts fucking chewing them. Swallows and then starts singing. The only thing I can think of is like, does he do it every show? And if so, how many shows has he have they played where he's done that, dude? Like, that's that can't be healthy, bro. I mean, smoking them's bad enough, you know what I mean? So The butt's coming out the butt. Yeah, Rob's Ooh, butt. Not my butt. Like, <laughs> I don't need my butt. <laughs> No butt here. I ain't no butt. <laughs> Rob's like no butt, no butt eating over here. No butt eating. <laughs> Butts around here. <clears throat> Let's go to the next song. Alpha Wolf. The Zans and Nifs. Alpha Wolf's uh, bring back the noise. Bring back, yeah, bring back the noise. What'd you think of this? I thought it was just slightly heavier than the uh, Upon a Burning Body. It was just like uh, we're gonna crank it up just a little bit. An extra notch and just there's a lot good there was a lot going on yeah yeah it's cool i uh there's i feel like it's a it's a song that you just you, you, you're always kind of being hit with something you know i feel like it's a it's a playground for fucking adhd you know what i'm saying it's yeah the like, timing ah. on it yeah everything's just like give it to me you know i'm very hit and miss when it comes to heavier stuff mm-hmm. i love that song yeah. that they were that was that's the shit i'll listen to i'll listen to that yeah it was pretty dope i hadn't heard anything else by them so i look forward to looking into their catalog as well so yeah yeah, yeah they got some good stuff oh, yeah. check it out Josh? it's all heavy you'll yeah. like it and they put on a good live show yeah too. i feel like it doesn't it doesn't go too much further it's they're uh, they're uh, all they, the songs don't sound the same right but you're still in the same pocket like you know you're listening to the same band they they know what works and they do it it's well. it's yeah. moving yeah. yeah it's definitely moving. yeah man the the vocals, the music, the just everything. Like you said, there's a lot going on, but it's all placed in the right spots. Yeah, you know? like yeah, yeah. it's like fucking I said, awesome. It just it just keeps keeps yeah. hitting you, you. As know? soon as you started the song, I was like, yeah, ah, I, I dig this. This is fucking dope. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, do you guys want to do the Christmas movies, or you want to do some hot takes? Let's do let's do a one round of hot takes, and then we'll we'll end with, with uh, some Christmas movies. Let's do it. Yeah. Everyone hot takes, get a hot card. takes, hot takes, everybody. We're going to do some Danny hot takes. Danny, go first. You got, you got one already, Danny? You need one? I need one. There you go. Immortality would be a good thing. I don't know, man. The thought of working forever, bro? Fuck Just that, fuck that, dude. No, no, fuck no. that, dude. You, no. <laughs> Just like you, or would you be able to pick other people with you? Because I'd be thinking, like, I wouldn't want to be immortal, immortal? And watch That's my kids kid. die. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, dude. seriously though, I mean, I hear that we're uh, the first person to live to a thousand years old is alive right now. Fuck that. Just saying. Doubt it. So. Doubt it. Right. I'm just saying that's that's well, that's something I've heard. You know. Yeah, it reminds me of uh, the show Invincible that I'm watching right now with Omni Man. Apparently, he's like hundreds of years old. Who's also yeah. now a character on Fortnite. Oh, yeah. And he's also a character in Mortal Kombat. It's awesome. Yeah. I saw a video yeah. on that. Dude, they just discovered hidden brutalities. So he does this one where it's like, it's straight out of the TV show where he, like, he punches you in the air, he grabs you by the leg, and when he swings you to the floor, like your head explodes, which is already cool. And they discovered that if you do it and hold the two triggers at the same time, he does the same thing, but he pulls back and yanks your leg and like your whole skeleton out of the body and he just chucks it. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> and he's just standing there all fucking bloody. Yeah. You recommend this for the kids? Or? Uh, this is a perfect kids game, man. You know what I mean? Merry Christmas. Nice. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas shopping list. Fucking Santa. Yeah, that's what's up, dude. Yeah. Um, they don't do anything like immortality, that. Immortality, like Josh said, I'll pass unless you can pick the people who are there. Like if everybody's immortal... I don't know. Do we really want that? More people being born and then we're just overpopulated? You know, you like... A, am I a vampire? Are you a vampire? 
I don't know what that's you, I'm saying. I don't if know I, what you're sucking on. It depends. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Um no 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 <laughs> you trying to be immortal Rob no you trying to work every no, day though? I'm trying to die I just dude I'm just, I feel that <laughs> I feel that too man yeah you know my life hurts <laughs> if you if you had a choice to become a vampire would you do it if no. if it was a thing no nah, man you would do it mm-hmm. nah. I would I would I would uh, I see I feel like I would try to like if I was a vampire and I knew hey. it like. Just fucking killed. You know <laughs> <laughs> and now you're a vampire. <laughs> well, yeah, we ever get hungry. Guess really? what? We just smoked garlic. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Rob's just been smoking garlic like, for years. Oh no! Here, hit this. <laughs> you smell like an Italian. Nah, nah you're good. Hit this. <laughs> and we're dead. Oh man. <laughs> here's here's a good one. Uh, it says oh, you man. should not hook up with anyone if they're drunk. I'm going to say I agree with this. If you're the sober one and the other one's completely shit-faced, it might not be the best idea to do that. You know what I mean? I've been in that situation, you know, turned it down. Like, uh, I'd rather not because I'm completely fine and you're fucked up and I feel like we're going to wake up and you're going to regret this, you know, yeah. type deal thing. So, yeah. what about you? I don't know. I've never really, like, tried to, like, pursue, like, a really drunk woman, so. What about a really drunk dude? <laughs> All the fucking time. <laughs> All the fucking time. Hey, man. Do you never know, bro. I mean, yeah, you know, you never know. Love is love, guys. Love is love. There you go. Hugs and kisses. What about you, Rob? I mean, what about you? Yeah, what about you, Rob? <laughs> <laughs> Me or Josh? Well, I, I said Rob and I looked at Josh. But yeah, that's so why I'm... So so either, one of, either one of you, whoever wants to take it, go. go. Uh, my wife and I, we have a BA rule, which means beyond awesome. So if one person has had too much, they are BA, and you just don't do anything while BA because no good comes out of BA. Mm-hmm. And you're just like, oh, nope, nothing, no, 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 we're not doing anything. You are BA. All right, I get it. put on law and order. <laughs> like, there you dun, go. Dun. Go, go. What about Wait, you, which law and order? It doesn't matter. It's special. It's, it it's doesn't special fucking victims. matter. <laughs> He, it's, it's, it's nap time hey, at that, that point. That's a good one, dude. Ding ding. <laughs> that's a good one. Wait. <laughs> oh shit. What about you, Josh? <laughs> that's horrible. <laughs> I'd probably have to say no. Yeah. I think it's just safer to say no, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. What you got there, Rob? I got a dumb one. Uh-huh. I really got a dumb well, one. Pick a different one, dude. Pick a not dumb one. Pick a not dumb one, dude. Here, I got one that's not You picked dumb. it out of the dumb pile, dude. While oh, you're picking. Like, is this the dumb pile? <laughs> I feel like this is the dumb pile because this is the one I got out of. You like yours, Josh? Is that from the dumb pile? No. Okay, good. I would rather be really short than extremely tall. Okay. <laughs> God, no. Rob, go. No. <laughs> First of all, uh, every cabinet. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Every cabinet. Every cabinet. How often, how many times a day do people ask you to get something for them from the top? Oh, something? no, no, no. How often do I do it? Yeah. <laughs> or how often do I get asked? <laughs> Both, I guess. I don't know. Uh, three times. Um, being a dude of average height, I don't know. I wouldn't mind being taller. What about you, Danny? Well, let's, let's put it like this. So we were good fellas the other night. And people were talking about height because whenever you're around Rob, people are talking about height, you know, because he's 6'9". Why? Because they do. Oh, okay. And (laughs) so we were talking about it and somebody like, well, you're tall and looked at me and I was like, well, like you look around this place. If Rob wasn't here, I'd be the tallest guy here. Yeah. And that's usually the case for me, except for when I'm hanging out with Rob. Yeah. I don't run into, I'm six, like around 6'4", so I don't run into a lot of people that are taller than me. It happens, but yeah. yeah. So you'd rather stay tall, or you try and go house below? I'm good. I'm good around six four. Around six four. I'm good right somewhere around there. <laughs> right or whatever right that uh, six three, six four, six four, whatever that, wherever that is. There was a debate one time with a nurse because 
the nurse took the thing and moved it down and then said I was 6'2". And then Jessica like yelled at her. She's like, she, she's 6'4". And I was like, shit, like, they were going to go. Yeah. I was like, okay, do it. Hell yeah, dude. I don't know. I would just, I, I'm 5'10". I would like to be like 6'1". You know, just see what that's like. You could do, you could, I hear that I'm probably, you could, I'm probably around there when I wear. I hear they make cowboy boots that you can wear that have heels, heels up and shit, shits. Yeehaw. I hear there's some, some people that wear those. You know, there's some political figures walking around with some. I knew, some really I knew nice where you were going, dude. Fucking footwear yeah. and shit. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, whatever, dude. You got, yeah. you do your thing and shit. But like, bro, you're fucking that weird, dude. Like you're that, like, are you going to go get three inch Hills and wear them around because you know. We talking about Florida man. Yeah, dude. Florida man. Josh, you, you trying to be taller or smaller, Josh? I'm just saying, like it's a mixed question, because for me, I'm good, but I know damn well if I could give up any of my height inches, my wife would steal it, because it's short as shit, not even <laughs> five feet tall. So fair to say, reaching cabinets. That's a task. Yeah. Love going shopping with her and just watching her try and reach the stuff on the third shelf. <laughs> now, I heard it's true that in some states, if you're short enough, you can qualify for a helper monkey. A helper monkey, dude? Helper How monkey. short do I need to be, bro? I don't know. I want a helper monkey. But I, heard I want that one in general, dude. Like I've wanted can, one for years, dude. Yeah, I think you can actually legit get a helper monkey that will help you grab stuff off a shelf. They're like trained? He's got to wear a tux, though. <laughs> or I'm out. He's got to wear a tux. He's got to know the password <laughs> for the Wi Fi every day. <laughs> Can't be changed that it's shit on me. You know? He had one job. He had one, one job. job. <laughs> you guys, so we're in December. It's Christmas season. You guys, you guys, Christmas people? Mm-hmm. You get into the yeah. Christmas spirit? Uh, let me say it like this uh, December 1st, I am, I'm ready for Christmas. That's what's up. I'm one of those. Like December 1st. That's Christmas time. Like, let's go. Yeah. This whole, like, trying to do shit before Halloween is not. I don't know about before it's, Halloween. It, That's I'm just going to, let me just yeah. say like this. It's, it's not advisable. No. You know? uh, my, my wife and kids started decorating, like, on Thanksgiving. I was like, okay, that's fine. You can do it. Yeah. That'll be, like, the Thanksgiving thing, you know. Uh, you festive at all, Josh? <laughs> Have to be because of my kids, but no, but it's. More personal reasons. I always have shitty stuff happen around Christmas. Oh. I almost died one year around Christmas. But That'll then my it. son was born right before Christmas. So it's like positive, negative. But I, I always, because being pessimistic and always bad shit, I just want Christmas to be over with. Like, I hope the kids have a good time. But for me, I could care less. Yeah, fucking yeah. Bob. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> yeah. Christmas, like, dude. I, I don't Tell us how you really feel, Danny. <laughs> What about you, Rob? I ain't buying um, any bullshit. Dressed like a fucking seven foot elephant shit or what? No. That'd be no. dope. I just, you know, lounge wear. Dude. You know? We should play a Christmas show where we dress like elves, bro. <laughs> be fucking We're bro. all elves. You're Santa. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I'll do it. Or Josh is Santa. Um, yeah, I mean, we really got him wearing a mask on say, How am I going to wear that shit too? <laughs> a mask it. with a white beard. I heard he wore the mask the whole time. The whole, the whole time. time. That was impressive, Josh. The yeah. whole show, dude. Yeah. I said I was going to do it. You fucking wussed out after two songs with that jacket. <laughs> it lasted longer than 13 seconds. This That's time, true, though. Yeah. Still talking about it. We're two getting weeks there. later. We're getting there. Yeah, you know. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. Two weeks later, man. Hey, I struggled. That mask kept moving on me. That was the only thing. At one point, I was struggling <laughs> to see because the mask was coming down farther, and those eye hole slits were looking at the rim of the snare. Yeah. So I could not see what I was hitting. Yeah. So... Yeah. What do you want to read? Let's pick a theme Christmas movies. Do we want to go comedies first? Let's do comedies. We'll do comedies this week? Yeah. So one of my favorite Christmas comedies, Home Alone 2. I love Home Alone, but Home Alone 2 is my go-to Home Alone movie. You know? Just fucking Harry and Marv, bro. My dudes, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, Home Alone 2 is, like, for me, it's, like, it's very nostalgic. For me, that's like, it was a go-to movie when I was a kid. Just recently got my kids into watching them like every year. We watch it every year. Home so. Alone 2? Oh, do do we do Home Alone, home, the Home Alone and then Home Alone 2. And we tell them there's no Home Alone 3. Okay. Yeah, we stopped there. <laughs> this is not canon. I mean, it was funny because like they're on the Disney Channel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
And uh, so, like, we watched the first one, and then we watched the second one, and the credits are rolling, and it's like, watch Home Alone 3. They're like, the Home Alone like, 3. I'm like, no, nope, like, nope. turn the TV off. I'm like, there's no. There's actually, like, four of them. You didn't see shit. Yeah, yeah, there's a few, actually. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. So you just do one and two. Just one and two, man. That's, that's all I do. Yeah. yeah. What you got for Christmas? Uh, real quick, I did see that somebody AI generated uh, what Kevin would look like nowadays, home alone. And it shows him at like a rave and at a casino and like sunglasses on. He's chilling, partying. <laughs> like you just see all these fucking scenes of Kevin just going nuts. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to say my uh, staple in my house for comedy was Christmas Vacation. I've never seen it, dude. I've never seen Christmas Vacation. Yeah. I've never seen any of, like, the Griswold movies. There's a bunch of... Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's, it's all there's a bunch Lampoon. of them. I've never... Yeah, I've never seen them. I'm sorry, Rob. Did I disappoint you again, bro? Where the fuck are At you? least once a week, dude. You know? Fuck he loses what? faith in humanity. <laughs> I guess it's more of a surprise. How have you not seen that? Because during the holiday times, it's on almost every oh, fucking yeah. channel. Yeah, like I've, like, I've, like, I've seen it in the background of things or whatever, you know, like... I've never sat down and like, watch I'm going to watch thing. this movie, you know? Yeah. I know all this, you know, the classic scenes and the, yeah. I I know of the movie. I know what it's about. I've just never sat down and watched the whole thing. Shit is full. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I know what he's talking about. I've seen all the clips like that. <laughs> yeah. By you. Josh. Josh. I would have picked that one, but also, if we're going family, I have to keep it clean. Uh Probably Scrooged. Yeah. Uh, That's a good one. Yeah. Still family friendly. Okay. You took my backup. Sorry. No, that's all right. You took backup. <laughs> I was like, okay, as long as someone took that one, that's a good one. Uh, Anything I'm- else isn't kid appropriate? <laughs> 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 no. Scrooge really isn't appropriate either, but you know, you don't. Well, that's better that than Bad kid. Santa. Yeah. Uh, but for me, I go with Die Hard. There you go. Is that a comedy though? It doesn't matter. In my <laughs> eyes, it is. It's going to come up every single week. Every, every week, single every week. Get ready for it's, it. It's a horror. It's a romance. And it's, it's also an action. It's a, a Christmas comedy. movie. Hey, I'll give you, I'll give you one. Uh, a really good one is Elf. Oh, dude! I don't know how did I not pick Elf, but I'm just saying, Elf's, a, Elf's a good one too. That is a or, that would have um, been my family movie. Yeah, versus comedy, yeah. or was it Twas the Night? Or the night before. Speaking of Scrooge, a Muppet Christmas Carol movie holds up, dude. That, that movie's dope. Yeah, the Muppets one. The Muppet one. Yeah, with fucking. There's what's a, his there's nurse, a few dude? versions of that that are really Michael, Michael Caine. Caine. Yeah, Michael Caine is Scrooge, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. Uh, this Muppet. has been this has been the last days of Warcast, guys. You guys, please do us a favor. Check out the links in the bio. Subscribe to all of our channels. Uh, we're trying to get the YouTube channel. More subscribers. We need uh, to get to uh, ten thousand on TikTok. We so need to get a ten thousand on TikTok. So Rob has to make one, but it's only going to be TikToks of his feet. So, <laughs> all right. Yeah, <laughs> he's yeah. in on it. All right. <laughs> all right. Okay. Yeah. Sure. I'll show yeah. pictures of my feet, but that's rough, bro. Once, we, got- <laughs> once we get above so many uh, followers. <laughs> This has been the last days of Warcast. We are the last days of war. Thanks for checking us out.